Good morning, everybody. Saturday morning, October 22nd, I believe it is. I waited a little bit this morning to get uh, get on the road. It is, I thought they said it was like 48 degrees the last time I looked. Look, I've got gloves on today. Had to dig out and find a pair of gloves. I, I haven't got sponsored by anyone who does gloves, so. No one's offered me a free pair, hint, 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 to uh, try them out. Kemimoto. It is, it was 44 when I woke up. I believe it was 48 when I left the house. But today is going to be one of the last, either the last ride or one of the last rides. Tomorrow is also supposed to be a beautiful day weather-wise. They're saying sunny and warm and And all the buzzwords we just love to hear. But I do have to get this gas run out of the bike. But yeah, I've been running plain regular old gas with ethanol in it. And that's sitting in my bike right now. And I don't want to leave that set over the winter. Usually on the last nice weekend, and this one kind of snuck up on us because it's it had got cold here suddenly. We've had snow already up here. So today's one of them days where we're just gonna run the gas out, put some non-ethanol stuff in, non-oxygenated gas. But I don't wanna work on the carbs in the spring because they're all gunked up. Ain't nobody likes doing that stuff. But today is a bloody and breakfast kind of morning. I'm meeting the crew at Cuzzy's Brick House in beautiful Chesco, Minnesota. Speaking of Minnesota, there is the Twin City Orthopedics Performance Center, home and headquarters for the Minnesota Vikings. Skull Vikings. They do a uh, training camp there. Headquarters are there. They play their games at U.S. Bank in downtown Minneapolis. This is beautiful Egan, Minnesota, which is a suburb and is a beautiful, beautiful area. And that is a beautiful, beautiful facility. I'm not just saying that. It's true. Would I lie to you? To the right is Delta Airlines. And that would be Minnesota St. Paul, or Minneapolis St. Paul Airport, the MSP, as it's referred to up here. Not referred to as that. But anyways, that's their abbreviation as MSP. They take off right above the road. It's pretty cool. Take off or land, depending on the weather and uh, which way the wind's blowing. Biker boys. To the left, over there, the taller building, is Mall of America. Well, that's a JW Marriott, I should say. Mall of America is right there. It was the biggest mall in America. I believe someone else has taken that title from us. But they are putting in a water park, supposedly, which will be pretty cool. And that's going to make us big again. I am so happy to be out on the road today on the bike. I needed this. I don't know what I'm going to do this winter, guys. I might lose my mind. I'm not sure. I think I have to snowbird in Florida or something. Need to find a job where I could work from home, wherever home may be. So I could go to warm places and get away and, and ride. I'm sure I'm like most people out there. Riding the motorcycle is my escape. Oh, I woke up this morning and made myself a pot of delicious cowboy coffee. Don't know if you guys ever tried that or not. Or if you saw my video, I'll try and put a link up here. You boil the coffee grounds right in your water pretty interesting when you just boil the coffee grounds in and then there's a little trick you do at the end and the coffee grounds all go to the bottom of the pot and then you don't get any grounds in your coffee when you pour it slowly it's kind of cool actually 
But I made a pot of that this morning. Had a cup or two of coffee. I talked to the guys already and we'd already decided we were going to do something today and run the gas out of the bikes, get ready for eh, winter. I know I live in Minnesota and probably shouldn't say winter that way because some people actually like it. How come every time I get on the bike and I go for a ride, I always say, man, it's a beautiful day out here. Because I think anytime you're on the bike, it's probably a beautiful day. The amount of days that I've got on my bike and haven't said, what a beautiful day, are few and far between. You know, I just love this big comfortable motorcycle. I don't know if I'll ever sell it. I do want to get like a Harley or something, but I don't know if I'll sell this thing or not. You know they don't give you nothing for trade in. I do have one idea for what I'd like to do with this. I mean, this has been a great bike for me. And it's gotten me through some really tough times and still will get me through a few more. So I do have an idea for how I'd like to handle it at that point. It's a nice thing about riding a bike. It help, it gives you time and helps you think and figure things out. Turn right, then turn right. Are they open? <laughs> 